Namaste viewers. You all have appreciated the videos that I put on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for it. Babaji Ji was one of the first ones to come and do this videos with me. We have him again today with us with a very interesting topic on the crimes. Babaji Ji, Namaskar and welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Shikaji, for your invitation again. And uh, I was very amazed with the background that you had. And thank you for uh, suggesting this to me also. So we have the same background and no. the universe behind. So yeah, today I was thinking to speak on the trines. And uh, you are much more experienced in Nadi. So you would be more aware of trines. Uh, I'm not that experienced, but uh, what? what I had uh, known about the trines and many people I see they uh, they just only consider the trines uh, from the ascendant so which means they say that okay 159 represents trines but then they forget to realize which they already know that there are many trines so for example 2610 is also a trine then 3711 is a trine then 4812 is also a trine so, so this seen... is the basics, basics of Nadi. Correct, correct, correct. We, already, so, we only work on these trines. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so today what I was thinking from that I'll uh, speak on some theoretical approaches and uh, some ways by which we can see uh, how a person can improve their life if one area of life is not working properly or if they feel that uh, one planet is... Uh, not the way they want to or the way they expect it, then how they can uh, improve their life in a, in a practical sense. And if uh, the viewers like this concept, this way of uh, approach, then you can always write in the comments. Uh, next time we can do some uh, example charts for marriage or career or health or whatever, whichever issue it is. So, uh, so let's talk about uh, the... I mean, 159, everybody talks. Let's keep uh, talk about it at the end. <laughs> so we have the second trine, which is the second, sixth, and the tenth. So so th this this is known as the Ar Artha Trikon. And uh, this is a very crucial trine, actually, because uh, this trine, uh, this, this is the second house. I mean, after the Lagna, this is what starts, you know. <laughs> So, Lagna is like the birth. You know, ascendant shows the birth. So, the second house is like uh, immediately what you come uh, in contact with after your birth actually. So, that's why that shows family and all this. So, uh, what people don't understand is <clears throat> uh, second house also shows uh, the teeth. Now, many people know I had made a video three years back. Uh, secret link between uh, teeth and your money. So in that I had said that if you have teeth problems, uh, if money problems, your career is not good or you have some serious issues financially, or you have that much issue in your life that you are not able to maintain your family itself. I'm not saying you are not making million dollars. So if you have that much issue that you are not able to eat because second house is also your own food and uh, what what you feed to the family basically then you should really check your teeth and second second house also shows the tongue basically so uh, therefore there's a saying you know that tongue doesn't have bones but it can uh, break your bones <laughs> yeah so uh, anybody has any relation because second house is the family and uh, people who are like family to you so if you want to keep long-term relation with somebody, then always watch out what you are speaking to them because <laughs> then later on you may regret and later on you may not be able to get back with them. They may not like you. So uh, if, if the second house is well uh, placed or the second lord is well placed or you have good planners there, then uh, these, these areas uh, are more harmonious with the overall energies of the horoscope I have seen. It may not be that you get a lot of money necessarily. And uh, always remember that uh, every house is uh, trying to some other house. So anything good or bad in that house will affect the other trines. So if you, 
if your speech is bad which is your tongue if you are speaking badly then the sixth house gets affected you will have more enemies <laughs> yeah so and then what will happen you know you uh, your life purpose will be hindered because which is the 10th house because then people won't let you work people will obstruct you they will uh, pose opposition to you okay so therefore it's very crucial that uh, you take care of the 6th house and then uh, the second house i mean and second house is also the food that you put inside so if your food is not good then the uh, sixth house which is health and disease so people say sixth house represents health and disease okay what which one is true actually well i would say if if you are eating good food then it shows health which, which means you are focusing on your health you are doing exercise or yoga or fasting all these things are under sixth house no? and then you will be able to overcome your diseases and fifth house is the house of cure because it is the loss of disease 12th from the 6th so then then what will happen you will be able to if you are if, if you are if you are able to overcome all your weakness uh, sixth house shows your weaknesses so therefore if you are eating good food then you will be able to overcome your weaknesses your uh, in anything lethargy or the six anarthas which are the script lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, illusion. So, so if you feel that you are constantly under attack from these inner weaknesses all the time, then you know which house to look. <laughs> you need to improve because, the second house. Correct, correct. Because in uh, in Ayurveda, it is also said, you know, the tongue and the belly is in the same line actually. So if if the belly is not proper, then uh, there there is issue with the tongue actually. Okay, and uh, if you are not, and, and then some people say, oh, uh, how much famous I will become in my life? You know, they are more concerned with the tenth house. They have no interest in sixth house. Well, then I tell them that if you are not uh, working consistently, because sixth house is you know Virgo. Virgo also shows how you are working consistently towards achieving something. Then. Irrespective of the area, either it's politics, astrology, or you know, spirituality, whatever it is, or you know, glamour or education, you cannot become famous because you lack consistency. So, so, so this is how the trines are linked. So, if you have a planet which is there either in second, sixth, or tenth, and uh, if you are feeling that uh, I'm not getting success in one particular area of my life then uh, you must check the other two houses actually. By that you can understand what is going on actually. Because if, uh, if your health is not good, then you cannot work properly. And here work doesn't mean you are just sitting in home and you are jobless. I don't mean that. But uh, you just think of yourself when, when you are feeling very lazy and lethargic. You know, these days this lockdown is going on and then people tell me, sir, I'm feeling so lazy. I'm feeling... You know, why am I just uh, living, you know, just eat, e e eating French fries or you know, just drinking Coca-Cola? I'm not doing anything basically. So, if your second house is not good, then you will not feel like working, and then your tenth house will be hampered, which means you will feel that you don't have any purpose in life. You're just sitting and doing nothing. So it's so beautifully linked, actually. So therefore. So if you have like, uh, I've seen planets like uh, Mars is there in the second. They say this is Manglik Dosh. So why why do they say this? Because uh, now you may think, oh, man, people think Manglik means, you know, my partner will die. You know, so everything they have blamed on to some other things, you know, some car will come and hit the partner, you know, they will die, you know, or my spouse will commit suicide or something like this. But there are some simple things which people don't understand that if Mars is there in second, you, your partner may die, but not physically. They, you may die for them because they may not want to stay with you because you are all the time speaking very rashly. Rash. You, you, you are with very anger and all that. Yes, correct. correct, correct. So, so because of that, what can happen is you, 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 you will not, you will feel the seventh house is not functioning properly because you know the sixth house is getting activated all the time. Yes. <laughs> Separation all the time. You know? So, so many times I have seen uh, people they are too much concerned with seventh house. You know? 
what is happening in my marriage but i have seen in my experience after you get married the second house becomes more important this is i yes because then you are not just a partner you are like the family so therefore if you're married if you're uh, post wedding which means your married life is not very good then i would say pay more importance to the second house because and that is why uh, they say you know that uh, even many times people tell me that uh, i have to oh i do, i don't want to get married now you know i want to focus on my career you know, you know i get married after 5 years you know 10 years or 15 years 20 years whatever it is so then i tell them that see uh, if you have a family because the second house is a trying to the 10th house that will uh, automatically that will, activate the 10th yeah that will make your career even better actually uh. Correct. and the seventh house is also uh, it is in kendra so okay, now so that issue may be different that you are get, you want to get a job or you want to get married because the seventh house deals with the event of wedding primarily so that may be a challenge but if you feel that uh, should you by getting married your career will go down that generally doesn't happen i've seen because then you will have more uh, sense of responsibility because you have to maintain your family also so that automatically kind of elevates you and uh, makes you more geared towards working towards success i would say because then you have to uh, feed your family also i mean if you are a male or even these days you know ladies also so so therefore i i strongly uh, object to this idea that uh, you should marry like 20 years later or 10 years later and in the name of your career you know, so one or two years is fine, but you should not deal by a decade because then i mean you know in fact the opposite may happen you may feel you may feel that you know i am not happy because uh, you you feel lonely when you go home and that may give you depression which may end up giving you uh, lack of focus in your career so 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 that that may happen that's what happens with most of the people i have seen you know so this is this is an example i said and then if you uh, go to the fourth house then you go to the eighth house the twelfth house you know, so fourth house is the house of happiness this is it's not exactly happiness the way we think it is more of the sense of peace of mind i am happy i don't need anything okay and not that egoistic sense of boasting which happens these days you know oh, i don't need him i don't need her i am all in all <laughs> it's it's not that that uh, modern hedonistic stupidity like it goes on these days it's more of like i don't uh, internal peace exactly you got it right as i said andar andar and se khushi jo milti hai we are satisfied and we have reached that level ki okay i'm fine as now in the circumstances what are yes correct overall satisfaction in life you know so many times people tell me and uh, i have always seen people who have problems with the fourth house uh, they they the, the moment they get up in the morning their experience is very bad they feel very depressed <laughs> they feel very down they feel very lowly down they feel they feel or they always feel that they should sleep bit more not physically but even if they sleep one more hour they'll feel oh i am not refreshed i am not rejuvenated actually because uh, that's that's how the fourth house is actually and if you if you have problems with the fourth house then you should check the eighth house so then if you, then also you should check the 12th house now 12th house is the house which is which activates when you are about to sleep <laughs> 12th house is about to sleep so now uh, the 12th house will tell you uh, what is your situation during sleep so if your 12th house is not good then you cannot go to sleep actually you don't then you can suffer from insomnia and if you are not sleeping because there are like three levels of sleep they say na like and the third level when you go or they say three or four levels if i am correct if you don't go to the last level then your body doesn't get rejuvenated so in that case you won't feel good when you get up in the morning which is the fourth house you know and then eighth house shows uh, clearing your body after you get up you know? <laughs> so that also i tell people that uh, as soon as you get up according to ayurveda you should the first thing you should do is you should uh, take a bath you know preferably cold water bath why because why do you need cold water actually <laughs> 
because the eighth house is the house of tamas actually so when you are getting up and you are ready then there's a lot of tamasic energy in the body actually so that is why you should and cold water is considered in the mode of uh, goodness actually sattva uh, gun that is why the rishi the cleansing the cleansing power of the body exactly and that is why the rishis used to always go down like vishwamitra used to go inside gangotri and stay for you know thousands of years <laughs> yeah so therefore it's very crucial that you take care of the eighth house and if your eighth house is not good then uh, again then you won't feel good because then the other times will be active and your 12th house will again spoil you won't be able to sleep so that will it's like a vicious cycle you see so so you should check check where the problem is coming so if even if you don't know astrology you should you should try and check uh, which which is that one area of my life which i want to improve basically and then you should check that house and if you feel that house is good then you still feel it's not very good then you check the trines what is going on the trines will tell you the story okay and then uh, we all also have uh, the dharma trikon 159 so in shrimad bhagavatam there is a beautiful shloka which explains this trine actually uh, balram ji explains this in 10th canto or 11th canto it's one of the two that what is the secret to happiness <laughs> balram ji uh, for the westerners is uh, lord krishna's bro uh, elder brother so balram ji explains that there are three secrets to happiness actually that uh, when you meet somebody senior to you senior means not by year or age by even by experience or knowledge uh, always try to take enlightenment from them don't become envious he said don't become jealous if if you are violating that then you will be unhappy in life because in this life world always there will be somebody who is better than you in some area <laughs> you can never say i am best in best. everything yeah and then he said that and then when you meet somebody who is a uh, junior to you your subordinate you should try to enlighten them don't try to exploit them or boast and show the how, how great you are you know try to enlighten them and uh, then he says if you meet somebody who is equal to you try to share <laughs> one five so try to, yeah so Any one five nine. yes so what is the lagna basically and uh, lagna is the first house so lagna shows your birth country or birth place you know not fourth house fourth house is any house in general Uh, but lagna can show things which are very familiar to you you know which you like or which i mean the lagna is not good then it may show things which you hate also absolutely despise you know because the lagna is afflicted me so then we have 5 and 9 so if you feel that you are not happy in life then you must check these three things so when whenever you are meeting somebody senior then what do you do uh, i i know some people when they go to you know parties and you know they mean so they know uh, that some big person has come because of whom their presence will be undermined now so you know they try to make their own circle and sit in some corner and then i'm like this this won't work because when you are doing this you are always in anxiety oh my followers will go to him you know what or her you know they will become more he or she will become more famous so you are just it's like digging your own graveyard when you are doing all this uh, so therefore if you follow balram ji's principle it's very beautiful actually and therefore uh, ninth house shows gurus so you should uh, take enlightenment from your gurus and your seniors your guides counselors and fifth house is subordinates so don't keep anything with yourself just give it whenever you get something you give it you are like the lagna you are the medium you are you are the instrument if you keep something you will be unhappy <laughs> the good, moment you very good. yeah the moment you keep because even if you see now lagna is like this 5 9 is yes so give give take give take give okay. so the more you are taking from the 9th house and more you are giving sometimes we do opposite we take from the 5th house you know we exploit our subordinate that that doesn't work like that so you have to take from the 9th and give to the 5th <laughs> house Ah, and this is what exactly is known as parampara parampara means you don't change anything 
वॉट एवर नॉलेज इज देयर यू बिकम लाइक अ पोस्टमैन वाई आर मीडियम टू ट्रांसलेट and that is the only way by which you can be happy and if you read the commentaries of so many different acharyas of mahabharat or ramayana or bhagavatam whatever they they only prayed this that they they don't pray oh let me become very famous you know let me change lives of people you know like it, people say in instagram these days or youtube you know they they are called as influencers you know like <laughs> <laughs> they think they are changing lives of people and you know? so the acharyas don't pray like this they say that their only prayer is they don't even pray that may i become a servant of god they don't even pray that may i see god they don't pray all this they just say that oh god my only prayer is that i become an instrument of my guru that whatever my guru has given me i can give to my uh, subordinates or my dis- disciples uh, unadulterated So if you do this, then you will be the happiest person actually. And if you try to go against this, you know, then uh, you will be very frustrated. And, and then the problem, yeah. And then the problem is uh, the fifth house doesn't get affected. Ninth house also doesn't get affected. They will be as it is. But who will be frustrated? You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so if you feel you have problems with dealing with people and sometimes people tell me you know they are good with seniors or juniors but they are not good with equals why because you are either trying to boast or you are trying to exploit or uh, you are not dealing as a friend actually so when you are with equals you should deal with deal as if you are like friends you know equals basically same age or same knowledge group or something like this you know because they may not be able to enlighten you much because they are of your same age so this is this is what is about the uh, trine and uh, lastly we have the kama house <laughs> you know we have 3 7 and 9 3, so 3 uh, 7 11 sorry correct so then uh, this this trine is a very uh, amazing trine because uh, if you check uh, the first trine 1 5 9 this is opposite you know? <laughs> 7 yeah correct 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 so therefore um, you should always see so many times people say you know the seventh house seventh house is important so how do if you have a problem in the seventh house then you should always check uh, what is going on in the third and the eleventh so third house is the house of communication so uh, it is vital for any relationship that uh, your communication should improve which means you should at least even if it doesn't improve, you should at least have you should try to communicate what you feel and you should also respect what the other person is communicating because many times people they say oh uh, like when i do this relationship consultation they say you know oh how can he say this how can she say this and then i'm like they are saying this because something is blocking them so instead of blasting on why they are saying like this now they are not happy that's why they are saying so that damage is already done you cannot <laughs> so you should try to resolve the problem by communication or you can check the 11th house do you have a sense of friendship so therefore if there's no, if there's no sense of friendship actually then you will feel that uh, we are just married but then there's nothing happening because 11th house will show uh, the 11th house is like the next level you know upgradation of anything so anything you want to upgrade the 11th house is required so therefore uh, if you feel that uh, it's not happening then you must check what is going on in the third seventh or 11th or if you feel that 11th house shows friends you know if you are not having friends basically then then you also need to check the seventh house seventh house can show how you are dealing with anybody else in general so again if you are not dealing properly if you are not communicating then how will you have friends right yeah. and uh, yeah. therefore these trines are very important so we should understand that every house is affecting some other house that is why in ayurveda they say na no, for any signs uh, bona fide vedic signs it is said if you if you damage one thing it's like a chain chain reaction <laughs> like a cycle and if you, and the last thing i will say is suppose uh, you are uh, you are eating bad food okay then what will happen the sixth second house is spoiled then the sixth house is spoiled then the 10th house is spoiled 11th house also spoiled because no 
yeah and then that's what i was telling you know six shows you know your active activities and 12th house shows your withdrawal withdrawal yeah. and then your 12th house is spoiled because uh, if you are not doing anything in the day you will see you won't get sleep you are just watching tv and then you will become a victim of insomnia because your body has not utilized this energy so it cannot go to sleep your mind is working all the time and then what happens your fourth house is spoiled then your eighth house is spoiled <laughs> Okay. Then, then I mean, every house is spoiled like that. So therefore, people sometimes say, you know, oh, thoda thoda chalta hai, na, in moderation, you know, some crap you do here. They actually, ideally, it should not happen. Now, if something happens automatically, like you went somewhere and there is nothing to eat, you had to eat some crappy food. That's different. But in Generally. when you, yeah, when you are normally sitting in your home or if, if everything is fine, then you should really take care. Okay. So therefore, uh, this is how uh, this is what I have seen with trying. Because many times I see people have issues, but the issue is not there. It's coming from somewhere else, actually. So <laughs> I see so that, many of your posts connected to food items and all that. Very healthy food. So many of is are tasty and all that. A I remember that dish. Yeah, yeah. Honey, yeah. so, yeah. most of the time. Yeah, we're trying to experiment with uh, with uh, Indian and European. I don't know how much successful I'll be, but <laughs> yeah, this is all I wanted to say. And next time we can uh, share with some example charts or like this. Or you can always add your expert uh, knowledge uh, about Nadi. <laughs> sure, maybe one. Yes, yes. Long Thank you. Yeah. yeah, thank you so very this much. This was then. a beautiful session. Very beautifully explain the times and how they are interconnected to each other. So even if we do one small mistake, all all the twelve houses are reflected by that mistake. That is what you have taught us so beautifully. Thank you very much. Hope thank to you. see you soon. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you.